of my new fall series and I really don't know what the name is so the series so don't forget to comment down below what you think the name should be and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and add me on your snapchat those will be linked down below in the description box also don't forget to comment what my next video should be and like this video give it a big thumbs up and so without further ado, let's hop right into the video. <laughs> so you want to start out with paint splattered across your canvas and you want the three rows and you want to just um, take a sponge and smooth it all out. Then you, for the leaves, you want to take and dip your brush in whatever color paint you want to use. And for this I went with orange, but I used all the colors. Um, that I used on the canvas so orange red and yellow and you just want to make a border around the outside of your leaf so that it looks bordered and nice and clean and then you also want to write whatever letter that you're using on your in the middle of your leaf and I was doing A because I had already done F and then I did L and L there's just an overview of what I did and then I rearranged the leaves to be in the right order and then I just put Mod Podge over the whole canvas to ensure that the paint wouldn't chip or fade and that it would stay for a long time. Then I took the leaf, I flipped it over to the back side and added Mod Podge on the back to act as if the Mod Podge were glue so that I could glue the, well, in a sense, glue the leaf down to the canvas. Then after that, I had glued all of my leaves onto the canvas in the way that I wanted. I went back over one more time with the Mod Podge over the whole leaf to ensure that it, the leaf wouldn't fall off and that it would stay on for a long time. And all of the Mod Podging process is literally just so that the paint and the leaves wouldn't fall off. And there's the finished product. If your lips are moving, then you lie, lie. 